Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. All right, so I'm gonna run through a quick Costco order. I figure I do these once a week um, or once every other week whenever I go to Costco and just show you what I picked up, even if it's a small order. Today is Thursday, so it's breakfast for dinner today. So you'll kind of see that today because I'm gonna go ahead and include that. Um, picked up some eggs. Now, this Costco haul is from the Costco Business Center. So it's not the regular Costco store. It's the one where you have a lot of like business supply stuff like containers for like food prep pots pans chef knives um to go containers cups plastic work, everything like that right and then like bulk items for like your vending machines and stuff like that so you'll kind of see that let me show you <laughs> all right so i did get them some eggs so the kids go through eggs like crazy almond milk the eggs were 4.97 almond milk was 2.97 for this box but the one thing about the business center is that um, they expire pretty quickly. So, for example, this milk will expire. Girl, it's got to be on here somewhere. Hmm. Okay, let me move slow because I must have missed it. So this one says January 9th, right? So that is in like, what, three days. But here's the kicker. It hasn't been opened once it opens from like, you know, and it's that's the sell-by date, not the expired date. So knowing my kids and how we've been drinking smoothies in the last two weeks, this not going to last us for like a week and a half anyway, if that. So it'll probably go maybe three or four days past this date, if that, Okay. Moving on, I picked up some gloves because we needed some for like the oven. And like when we barbecuing and stuff, we're going to get back to doing it outside grilling veggies and stuff. So these were $4.97 or four something like that for this pack of um, flame retarded quilted oven mitts. So I thought that was a pretty good price because it comes up to your arm. Um, I also picked up these, which you'll see in my organization for my under sink, under cabinet, under sink cabinet. Yeah, get it right organization so i picked up some more towels and these are the like bar mop towels good for your dishes or whatnot so i picked these i think it was seven bucks for this pack but it's 12 in a pack and we just needed some so i got them i picked up these airtight seal pictures i want to try these out for our juices um my juice is going to jar but the girls and christopher i've been putting them in this one container and they need another one because they're running through that container so fast um, it's literally lasting like two days. So I'm thinking this might fit in my door. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, see, I just made this one yesterday. And that's what's up for this one. Yeah, so this will fit. They can even put almond milk in here or juice or water lime, whatever. So... These were two in the box for um, 19 So you get two in the box, and they were $19. And it just says water, tea, cocktails, etc., right? Um, and they're leak-proof, airtight. So shadow-proof, too. So if they drop them or something, don't have to worry about that either. So I have the girls wash this when they get home from school while I'm going up. Christopher, because I am running behind. I picked up these cheese strings. I want to say these were like $3 or $4 for this pack. That's a lot. Of, girl, I was so freaking hungry. <laughs> I was like, she about to eat a piece of string cheese because I'm starving. I was so hungry. What is this, day four or five since I've done the detox? And literally, every time I eat, y'all, <laughs> not even an hour later, I'm, I'm going. So it's like, then I'm hungry. Then I'm going. But it's like, I'm hungry for like... um. I don't know, it's something really tasteful. I can't describe it, but I, I had to eat this cheese. So this one expired February 22nd. Um, no, February something, tw uh, 22. But they'll be gone. If anything, we can freeze them. And you can freeze these, take them out, batter them, and fry them. Or freeze them, take them out, batter them, put them in the oven. And that stops the melting process of the cheese before they can actually fry and cook. Tip for me to you if you want to do fried string cheese, okay? So this bacon, same thing, was six dollars and something cents. It expires one twenty nine. The bacon, half this bacon will be eaten tonight for breakfast for dinner, and the other half probably in another couple of days. So it won't last that long. These are new to us. I want to try these for the kids for their lunches and snacks. Um, 
yogurt apple nut mango pineapple mix sweet and spicy mix so between something they might like something out of here these don't expire for a while i want to say these say september 23rd 2022 all right and then we picked up this big old ghetto block of cheese but it's our it's sliced and this was um a dollar 97 this expires i remember seeing it it's on it was on the thing um oh here it is february 12th so by the time they make sandwiches for lunch this one you make it to february more bananas because they've been eating bananas like crazy some limes for my lime water that i make uh with the um sea moss and then i picked up some other things i went ahead and got um another pan um i bought one of these a long time ago from sam's and this is what we use for our oven like when you put your parchment paper down to do like your grilled veggies or whatever or salmon or whatever we're doing right and these are always like five now i wouldn't say these were like nine ten dollars right but at the costco business center these are five bucks 4.97 so yeah this like restaurant supply like um pants they go like in your oven so yeah i'm happy for that i'm trying to move it out the way child all right so then i also picked up a bowl i've been seeing these bowls at ross they're a little bit thicker at ross maybe just a tiny bit thicker but i've been wanting one of these for our salads our night salads when we have it for our dinner and we're tossing salads so yeah this was also four dollars and something cents this one says it is a 13 quart bowl so it's pretty big if you can see it's pretty pretty big so i picked up that and then i picked up these i don't even know if my kids i want to say when it was little they might have tried cracker jack these cracker jacks expired june I 28 which they weren't gonna last them all and these were um six dollars and something cent or maybe it was 597 597 for 24 so i keep saying 597 but it might have been 594 it's 590 something or 579 something like that i got some more crusties because you know that's what they eat it's the pancake mix you add egg and oil if you want waffles so yeah i got that i got these oh i was so hungry look i had a piece of cheese and a pie for a girl these expire march 2nd so these one you make it to march between their lunches and me eating these they won't make it to march um what else and then i got this big box for their lunches and these are just the regular ladies now what they're going to do is um i'm going to go to um probably atb or something which i gotta go to atb because i gotta go pick up something for quest all right, so I gotta go to HEB and I'm probably gonna buy some dips. And they can just have like dips between hummus and ranch and what is that onion dip and all that. They're just gonna have that to go with these regular chips. Cause the other chips, I just felt like they would get tired of. And this big, huge box is $9. So yeah, this is, how many chips is in here? This is, I think it's 64 chips. Does it say it? Hmm, hold on. I keep saying expiration or uh, expire, but I mean sell by date. That's the sell by date. That's what I mean because the shelf life on like stuff in packages is way longer. Way longer. So these are these chips, the bigger bags. And um, so I just figured they would appreciate just having the regular ones and eating them with whatever they want. And then I can just share this with a friend of mine and her kids too if she um, chooses to. So. I think that's everything I got. I've been cleaning out underneath here. I just got my garbage disposal um, redone today, this morning. He came and did a brand new one for me. Um, so just some cleaning up to do and put this stuff up and I gotta go get Christopher and we'll be back to cook breakfast for dinner. I almost forgot to film. <laughs> I was just sitting here just running my mouth, watching a live. So I am making uh, pancakes. These are the pancakes that are being made at this present time. And then in the air fryer, the kids will have some bacon. Yeah, they'll have some bacon. I'm gonna take a few more minutes. Let it do its thing. So I'll come back. Um, that's pretty much where they have pancakes and bacon, girl. They got some juice left over. But you know how that go. Um, they may, may or may not want it. They'll probably make orange juice because we have some oranges like in a basket. Oh, let me show you my baskets. One minute. All right, so let me show you what I got. So I saw these baskets mm -hmm. at Target. I thought they were so stinking cute. They're just like these little, like, they're pretty big, to be honest, for five bucks. They hold quite a bit. So 
And I'm getting two, one of those and one of those. I thought these would be cute, like sitting over here um, with apples and oranges or whatever. Um, yeah. What else did I get from Target? Target. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. So I had to got $20 worth. Oh, I got these. Um, I thought they were candle holders, but they're actually um, little mini vases, vases for like flowers. These right here. Um, but I wanted something to put my candles in on my table, like whatever. So I'm not going to return it, but uh, I'm going to put some flowers in here like we normally do spring and summer or whatever, even though it's not spring and summer right now so i bought that i bought that i bought that what did i buy from target i don't remember it was one more thing i bought from target because i bought 20 dollars worth of stuff and i remember everything was five dollars a piece um i can't remember what i bought <laughs> that's crazy now that's crazy but i do like the baskets the baskets i thought were so stinking cute and it's in that one spot i think i have either some video or some like snap snippets or something maybe some pictures of like some stuff or whatever so i'll go ahead and plug that in but um yeah i thought that was so cool um is it something else i feel like i bought something else and i don't know what it is it might be something that's upstairs in my room and i'm just not thinking about it right now but um yeah so the house is a little dirty y'all i remember i told y'all i ordered um judy has gun um discovery set so it's here this is the 25 hour discovery set i'm a little bummed about those two in the middle see those two in the middle everything else is full i even get a travel spray along with this kit for 25 so i think it's pretty good there are four on here i already want i've already snipped um uh, three but one i know i won't so um, i'm gonna snip these and play with these and see what's up with them and maybe place an order for two or three of these from um twisted lily I put the information down below in my code too, so you can order you a, a sample set if you want to try it out. But I didn't know it came with. A, I guess I didn't pay attention. It actually came with a travel spray in there, so you get more fragrance. So it's normally twenty five bucks just for like these things. Um. So yeah, that was pretty good. I didn't even realize that. And I get to try all the rest of the fragrances. I see right now because like I said, we went to Costco today. I went to Costco today. I got some work done today, too. I did a, a video on a hair review. I just was like, you know what? I like doing it. I was hoping to do it. And I did one. And it was so fun. I even showed y'all the dress I wanted to wear for New Year's. But just, you know, it's just one of those things. It's, it's the economy. Now we got Florona around this camp, okay? <laughs> but, yeah. So everything is still pretty clean. I just put that stuff up. So I was thinking... Um, it's going to be another video, though, because I'm tired, girl. I've been up since early this boy. She is tired. <sighs> All right. I don't know if y'all can see. In here is a ton of glasses, like a ton of glasses, like really nice, pretty glasses, like these for your um, your wines. You can pretty much put anything in that one. This one for your reds. I feel like I want wine tonight. <laughs> Of course I do. Three, four days after a detox, I won't wine. Come on now. Um, the flutes, right? Bubbly, some little sparkling bubblies. Actually, I think I bought more of those. I don't know what I bought. And then we have margarita glasses. Then we have boxes of glasses. Let me show y'all something. So I bought these. I thought these were so stinking cute. For like sparkling waters and bubblies, but I don't have anywhere to put them. They need to be washed and clean and either put up in a cabinet where I can get to them or on a shelf where I can use them. Because I will use these for like sparklings, like when I do my sparkling waters. Like when I do my sparkling waters with um the lemon water, lime water. I really like these. They're just cloudy and dusty and dirty. And then I bought these um a while back because I just had to have them of, oh I had to have them of course these these are beautiful for sparkling too so pretty you know I, know I like sparkling champagne sparkling wine sparkling water all things sparkle honey oh man yeah I have um shot glasses down here we got it all we've got it all 
I'm out of breath. <laughs> Bending down too long. Someone's going to say, why don't you put them in the cabinet? Because my cabinets, every shelf in my kitchen are too low. Hey, y'all food is ready. It's too low to put those glasses in here. Like they literally do not slide up in here. None of my glasses. These do. These are the ones I picked up from Kroger. I remember these big, huge water glasses I got for the kids. I like those. They haven't broken in yet. I think I'm going to try to see if Kroger's has a sale and get the smaller ones too. I really like those. Those are really nice heavy-duty glasses. I love these. These are just definitely worth the $2 a piece that I paid. Um, I'll see y'all in a little bit. I think I'm going to uh, do the CMOS um, with y'all tonight. I think I'm going to chill out for a little bit. I'm tired. And just chill out for a little bit. And um, we're going to soak some CMOS together. That's what we're going to do. Once they get out the kitchen. I had some lines. Then get key limes. I prefer the key limes, but the lime is fine. So yeah. All right, I'll be back. Power. all right y'all so i put a clip in last night we actually lost power here a couple of um times like 10 12 times and then just went out for a while they're redoing something in our area so our whole entire neighborhood like pretty much zip code was out um and we had to pull out the oak mode which i'm so glad we have we actually have a second one that came in that they sent me um, I'm gonna put some footage here so you can see what it looks like. We had to use that one in the living room. We used that one upstairs, right? And then, why is it dusty? And then we used this one, um, downstairs. This is the one that we have with the light on in the kitchen. Um, and then I told them they can plug up their phones or anything like that. The power was out by two and a half, three hours. So, it was kind of late yesterday, so it was dark. Um, so you'll see here, it was kind of dark. And then the smaller one that's like this, which I'll plug in now. This is the one I took upstairs. So I just had it upstairs in the hallway so that people can see um, in the hallway or if it's anything they need to, um, you know, get or do or whatever. It'll kind of illuminate that area. I also ran an extension cord from there um, to a light further down by the kids' rooms. I didn't do footage of that because it was kind of dark. Um, so they can have like a light by their area upstairs in the hallway. But this is what the other one looks like that they sent me. On the last video, some of you all said that this this one was too big. Y'all were like, oh, we just want something small. Can you suggest something a little bit smaller, less expensive? And I was like, sure. Now this one, I will use this one for my refrigerator. Say the power went out for like 24 hours. My refrigerator would be hooked to this. I would also plug in the, um, the boards that go outside for the... Um, solar panels to keep it going but i would definitely um use this for my refrigerator maybe my deep freezer something like that because this will hold that because it is the 2000 watts so it will now with this one this one would be like tvs heaters um stuff you need to do around here like these little things that take like a hundred and something watts whereas you have a thousand to use i would use this one for like smaller stuff um lights uh, a fan anything like that that's what i would use this for if you're going camping this one is definitely lighter pretty much half the weight of this one this one is heavy so this is this is a beast mode one this definitely they both will take the solar panels so you can plug them in and um charge it by sunlight um or you can just already have these charged and then you know make sure you're running your solar panels too with them but i don't have the solar panels yet and they will send them to me but these have the different plugs you can put in your dc plug your regular ac plugs um your pbn you also have your usb plugs here as well for your ports all you're going to do is when you turn it on let me do this one. well this one's on too all you're going to do when you turn it on you're going to uh, press ac and that means these outlets work if you want you press usb that means these outlets can charge. But you can charge all this at the same time. What it's doing is allowing you to have separate ports so you're not running it uh, all at the same time. So I love this one. I'm so thankful for them sending this to me. I wanted to show it to you all again because it's very important. We're having outages like crazy here. We, our weather temperature dropped again. I don't know where it was 80 degrees yesterday. And then last night it was 40. And I think the wind came through and just knocked the power out. It sucks, but it happens over here a lot. Um... 
And I just want to be um, ready. You know what I mean? I would love to have a big, huge generator that you plug to the home or the ones you put gas in and all that. As a single person, I'm kind of leery of it. I'm actually scared of it. Um, I will probably one day invest in it. I'm so for sure because I live in Texas, in Houston. We have hurricanes and evidently snowstorms. Um, so anyway, I'm so grateful and thankful to them sending me. I will link this one and this one down below. Uh, out of the two, what do I think? I think if you're a single person, it's just you, maybe a kid or two. I, I definitely suggest I, having this for your refrigerator or like big, huge appliances. But if it's just you and you just want something like, if something go out, you ain't really worried about that refrigerator, you ain't tripping, you just want to be able to turn a fan, a heater, maybe hit a, a, a light or whatever, this it right here. If you camp a lot, you go camping with your family, this is, this is perfect. Take your solar panels with you. Use this for um, whatever you do. We normally take uh, portable AC units. We take portable heaters. We take the little thing, our griddle, when we're making pancakes, when we go camping. So this would be perfect for us. I would just take this unit and call it that because it's 1,000 watts. So normally these small ones like this are like three, four, five hundred 500 watts. This is 1,000. It's going to get you a, a good amount of power. I only charge this once, and I've used this twice. <laughs> I use this with lamps. I use this with a um, heater in the garage. When we put Quest in the garage for a day, when we was getting something done in the house, um, and the heater ran. You know what I mean? So, and look, the power is still here. So, yeah, I definitely love these. I'm going to showcase these more um, so I can keep this on your mind to let you know you have to take care of yourself, ladies, if you're single. Fellas, if you're single, um, it's just you. You can't really afford that big one, uh, that big gas um what you call that generator you live in an apartment you live in a town home you can't really do use those this is your options right here this is what you need in your life this is what you need because this you can pick up and take wherever you want to go and we're by carrying gas with you and then if you're in an apartment you got a balcony a sliding door somewhere where you get sunlight somewhere you can put those solar panels outside and let them charge so when the solar panels come in i'll show you all but anyway let's get back to um some of the stuff I picked up today. I'm going to pull all this stuff out of the um, bags. I did go and pick up some cleaning products. I'm working on underneath my sink. That's my next project. And then I'm going to hit up all these drawers over here. Even though I thought I was going to do these drawers first, I'm going to hit up underneath the counter sink because I had to get cleaning products. And I figured, well, since I re-upped on that, I might as well show you what I'm doing down here. So stay tuned for that. That's the next video to come for sure. But I'm going to go ahead and empty out these bags and show you what I picked up. Um what I'm enjoying, what I'm thinking about trying, why I don't use certain products anymore, and then I want to get your feedback on the cleaning products that you love the most for your home. Okie dokie. So here are the cleaning products I picked up. I'll start over here. This is not a cleaning product, but I did see this at Ross today, and I just said I wanted a round one, so I looked up. It was $9.99. It has the little feet at the bottom. Just needs to be clean, but yeah, I looked up and found that one. Picked up some more gardening gloves since I don't know what happened to the other ones. <laughs> They're probably all outside in that bin. But um, I picked up these from Dollar Tree. Now, these are very thin, like super thin like this. I just need something to go at the bottom of the cabinet. It doesn't have to be thick or anything fancy. So I picked this up, um, two of these, just to stop this one little um, drawer thing from sliding. So that's a dollar. Well, I think it was a dollar twenty-five now at Dollar Tree. I don't remember. I picked up some heavy duty gloves. I just needed some more. I'm trying I took my nails off. I'm just trying to let my cuticles and everything breathe and my nails breathe. So if I start back getting my nails done, I wanted to make sure I had those. Plus, we used the ones the other day. I don't know where they put them and they're filthy. And I just grabbed some. I bought some more of these bottles. We do have one or two around here somewhere. After a while, like a year or so in, these stop doing this and whatever. So they're a dollar, some a piece of Dollar Tree. And we normally use these with like the gain or the one that says Febreze. And we pour like the recommended amount that goes in here. Well, <laughs> no, they don't. They pour this in there and then add water. That's not the they don't use the recommended amount. I'm probably the only one that does that. But these go in the bathroom uh, counter. So yeah, those that's why we picked those up. I, while I was in Dollar Tree looking for this and the uh, spray bottles, I saw these, which are the big ones. These were the dollar or something too, but this is what we use in our garage when we clean our garage. Because um, we're in there, if, if we're either on treadmill, that little bike thing or whatever, and 
I like for the garage to smell good. I like the floors to be clean, <laughs> like the mats. So we'll pour this on a mat, scrub it a little bit, and just use the power sprayer to spray it out when we spray it out. Like, I think we spray it out like once a month. But every once in a while, I'll just go through there and kind of like pour a little something in like a little cup and a little water and put it on the, like where I park at, just to kind of spray it. And just, I like the fragrance of it too in the garage. I buy this one and the yellow one. So, yeah. Now, this right here I picked up from Ross when I bought that wood uh, board. Um, I used to use these all the time, y'all. And it is a multi-surface cleaner. I like the smell of them. And it does clean. I just don't feel like it sanitizes. Um, it may just be, like, stem from, like, you know, past learnings, right? Past history where if it don't smell like bleach or a strong cleaner, it ain't clean. It might be that. But I stopped buying the Myers brand. Um, I just stopped buying them, but if I see these, it, the special one is the turquoise one. I forget the fragrance of it, but if I see those, I'm going to pick those up because I just like them. But they just could be like for cleaning. Like, well, you know, we, we, we cook those. So that's why I need really good anti, you know, I need some surface cleaner. But anyway, I picked this up maybe just to spray clean here and there. I don't know. Um, these are from Walmart. I always get these at Walmart, either or Walmart or Family Dollar. It's either the Gain or the Febreze ones. And this will be my four with every night. So I probably we probably go through one a week. Because <laughs> we mop upstairs and downstairs. And then we use this. Like I said, we pour a little bit in a bottle. And then we use it for cleaning every day. So, yeah. I picked up two. We probably have two in the cabinet. But I really need to have like six of these in the cabinet. Where I want to buy them for a while. I just feel like every week I'm going to buy a bottle. And this is getting it out of hand. I originally went in there for that and this. I want to try this one. I saw someone talk about this one. I don't know the lady's name. She just ran across my YouTube screen. It's Candy Caramel and Pecan. Otherwise, I would definitely shout her out. Y'all know I like the other one. There's something, uh, buttercream coconut, no, buttercream um, cupcake. I like that one. But I want to try this one. So this one's going into the wax warmer today. Upstairs, the living room. In the kitchen. We're gonna see what it smells like. I got some more of these pads. I use these at the bottom of my um, teapot as well as my uh, stainless steel pots and pans. I use this with um, Barkeeper's Friends to keep my stuff looking brand spanking new. All right, so now I just picked up some of this, you know, HEB brand, same as Game Child. Um, is it smells good? Smell like game. It's it's Friday, but it's about to be Saturday. You know, we wash sheets, clothes, and everything on Saturdays mornings. So um, yeah, Thursday's my day for washing. Friday's my sheet day. Christopher's sheet day. His clothes day. Saturday's the girls' day. Um, yeah, so we just have like days we wash sheets, clothes, and towels, and we're low on this. So I just picked up some. I picked up some more game because they really like the smell of game in their clothes. I don't know why. I like Arm & Hammer, but they like game, y'all. And at the wild girl, it, it, it makes me feel like, ugh. Like, you know, because it's this, this, this. But they like it. You know what? They, they can have it. <laughs> Dawn. I think we have one big one in the um, our cleaning closet over there. You know, that door. I'm going to do an updated video on that, too, of what's in there once we stockpile and get everything ready for summer and spring. Because once I buy everything we need, I hope I don't have to buy anything else until fall. I'm trying to shop to where I have like three to four months worth of products. So I don't have to keep going buying this stuff. I just got to find them on sale. And when I find them on sale, I need to stockpile. That's what I'm trying to do. I picked up this little brush right here that you can put soap in. It's just a little handheld one. This is what we normally use, this bamboo one. But um, I have another one under the sink. I don't even know. This is probably... You can screw these off and replace the tops. But the one under the sink is in this little thing. And we use that to scrub our vegetables. This one was for like the dishes. Now I didn't want them to get them confused. So I'm tossing this one and let them just use this one. Um, and like I said, I think you can replace the brush head on this one too. But it's H-E-B. H-E-B has these on sale now. And these are two for three dollars. So I picked up these. These are the ones that don't scratch your pots. They also have a sale on this. with a dollar off coupon. So this is eight bucks for this thing right here. Um, these are normally $2.12, always at H-E-B. So I just always pick them up there because they're $2.50, $2.70 everywhere else, child. So I always get them there. And it's always the one with 45% more for $2.12. That's what we clean the kitchen with. Um, Lysol Power Cleaner. Y'all know we do the toilets with this. But I told y'all, 
like I would say like on Saturdays or maybe every other Saturday, we squirt this around the tub and just use the sponge to like buff it in and let it sit for a little bit. And then we clean the tubs with this. We have the tubs with like texture on it. Uh, what is it called? Is it fiberglass? I don't know what it's called, y'all. It's plastic in my opinion. It's trash, but they not like the tubs used to be. And so I have to use this or the green one to clean. And it's the gel and it sticks with the bleach in it. It's the green one. Is it by Clorox? Y'all correct me. And it makes my tubs clean. It keeps the grout clean. But you have to scrub it. And so it make a paste out of it. Otherwise, it'll just be like one light spot where you squirt this. But I put this at the bottom of the showers and all the way around the walls of the tub. So, yeah. I just bought two more packs. I think we got a, a well, I bought one pack. But I think we got a pack in the closet. And I wasn't sure. That's why I didn't buy more. I prefer Arm & Hammer or Hello. Hello Toothpaste is better for your teeth, right? More organic or whatever. Um, the one with baking soda, what's that one called? Arm & Hammer. I just prefer it. For some reason, the girls love this toothpaste. I bought this one freaking time and ever since then. But you know what? Whatever gets them to brush those teeth, right? I'm just saying. At this point, whatever gets you to brush your teeth, friend... I'm going to get it. They had buy one, get one free. $2.40 at H-E-B. So, I got them. I picked up some more Indus. Um, one day, I'm going to get the energy to go around my house. And I'm going to get all these baseboards clean in Indus. When I do that, the buildup, just, it just takes longer for it to build up. It takes longer for everything to get dusty and dirty. So, I'm going to do it one day. But for right now, this is for, we're going to use these two probably for the kitchen when I tackle my cabinet. Because as I told you all, I'm going through the drawers first, all the cabinet doors, cleaning, um, organizing, purging. And then I'm going to do the surface area. I already started up top. Y'all should see up top. Hot, freaking dusty mess. Um, but when you spray this, it helps it. I'm just saying, you can spray the tops of your cabbage, y'all. It helps with that dust. It's easier to clean, to wipe off. And dust doesn't really stick like that. So, yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and do these for the doors and cabinets. And I'm going to have to end up buying some more. Last year, I did the orange oil. but um, And I could see certain areas where I kind of like missed or something just didn't do right. So, I don't think this ain't real wood, is it? It's like that fake stuff. I, ain't, I don't know. But I'm going to use this because I think that worked better. I got some dryer sheets, which is, once again, H-E-B brand uh, of the game. Sick of that smell. And then all these right here, these are, I think they're all 16 in a pack. I think this is the only one that has 15 or uh, 12 in a pack. Thank you. But the rest of these have 16 in a pack. I think they're regular $4.98. But right now, H-E-B has a $2 off coupon. So it makes it $2.98 for these bags. So I just picked up, like, I don't know, seven bags. No, six bags. I thought I got seven bags. Oh, well, maybe I missed one. I got six bags, whatever. I can't leave these out, though, girl, because they'll just start throwing them in the washing machine. So I got to put these somewhere for, like, when we need products. You know, I can't leave them in the laundry room, rather. I'll probably put them in the cleaning closet. All right, so then um, trash bags. I always get the one that's orange, like zest fragrance or this like odor control fresh clean that lavender one with funky uh food stank to me like literally stinks so i get this one or the one that smells like it's like an orange zest citrus right or the clean one for odor control and then i have clorox i got three of these i have 50 cent off coupons i'm paying a dollar or something for each one these are just going to the kitchen counter we keep um one under the bathrooms too for like in between wipes like if you just and it's literally for toilet seats we use them for toilet seats like if you just want to kind of wipe the toilet seat underneath and on top that's it i'm going to probably replace all the toilet seats though coming soon and then of course bleach i always use those splash because um i don't know about y'all might be an old school thing but we put a little we put a cap full of bleach in the sink when we wash dishes cap full of bleach in the water when we mop and we use bleach for our towels, our sheets, and, um, oh, and we wash Quest bedding. Yes. Okay? I'm just saying. So, yeah, that's it. That's all my little cleaning stuff. Um, yeah, and I did buy some flowers. So, let me go ahead and put my flowers in my thing. I just bought some really pretty simple hydrangeas. And I got some eucalyptus for my shower. Too bad they didn't have the big eucalyptus bunch like they normally have. But H-E-B had the market brand, the market bunch or whatever, for $3 and something. 
So this will go into my shower. So when we take a shower or in the bathroom, I love this fragrance in the bathroom, y'all. Yeah, I just love it. Just hang it on your shower head or put it in your tub area. And when it heats up in that steam, oh my God, it's amazing. But anyway, I'm going to go hang in some water in here and get my flowers in here.